so I'm reading this uh, this this Bainey Fred thing, and I'm watching like part of the bot in the background, and I uh, I keep uh, I keep seeing like a ton of comments about these people just like saying how large Bainey's ego is. They like the word ego. They use the word ego um, a lot when they're describing him, and even some guy was like, "How can how can Claw play with him? He's got such a big ego. God, what a what a narcissist." And I think maybe like a few years ago, I would have uh, agreed. I mean, I see where they're coming from. I don't think they're like completely uh, just like not thinking. I mean, I get where they're drawing those conclusions. Um, but I think a lot of these people are people who don't really have much to show for. Um, and the thing is, I, I, I remember a while ago, like probably like a year and a half ago when Clockwork first would like ever stream, I remember watching it. And thinking he was, he had a bit of an ego myself. Um, and then I kind of realized that uh, this is the one of the best people in all of TF2, the most skilled uh, players. He's better than me by far. He's better than 99.9% .9 of the player base by far. Um, and what people don't seem to understand is that when you're extremely good at something, um, it becomes difficult to deal with people who are not as good. It becomes difficult when you understand how well things, you understand things extremely wholly, and so uh, when something doesn't go your way, um, kind of accidentally or not deliberately, um, or when someone wins and it's not like, you can, because you understand how things work so clearly, you can tell that it wasn't um, really that intentional, it's frustrating. Um, and it's frustrating to be the best at anything. I think, I, I can't imagine what it's like to be as good as those people, just because you're literally so much better than everyone else. I don't I don't know how you... I mean, I feel like if I were in that position, I couldn't play much. Anyway, I'm, I'm deviating from the point. Um, all these people are saying, oh, he's got such a big ego. Ego. Um, and the thing is, is that all the people who are saying this are now... This has happened before. This has happened with the Ruin thing. Is that the tides get flipped when the forums start to, like, boil up and work on really criticizing someone morally. Um, because it's the only way they can take them down, because they can't criticize, because these people are the best. They have the talent, they have the actual skill, um, and what can you bring down? Um, it's anything that they do wrong, because these are the people who live their lives on streams. But the people commenting this, the people saying ego, um, I can guarantee you they have uh, just as many issues with their personality, or many things that they've said that they wouldn't be too proud of. Um, but I think worse than that, those people, the people who say ego, um, these are the people who are stuck in life, and they're going to be stuck for a long time. Um, because everyone around them who achieves success, they're going to tear down. These are the kind of people who, um, when their friend wins a competition, or when their friend um, does something very good or, or creates something cool, they, they can't feel happy for their friend, and all they feel is internal jealousy. And so they can't wholeheartedly um, uh, say something good about it. And sometimes they'll even slip out some condescending remarks. Um, or they'll find a way to find the only negative thing about something that their friend has done. These are those people. Um, the people who literally beat their friends down as soon as they do anything good. Um, because in their mind, if you're proud of something ever, um, you're a narcissist. If you won t 10 ESEA championships... You're a fucking narcissist. You piece of shit. How dare how dare you be proud of the fact that you've spent so much time? How dare you? You fucking ego prick. This is this is the way these people think. And this is why if you look at most of them, <laughs> they play video games most of their life all the time. Um, and now I'm not saying that there's something intrinsically impure about this, but they're, they're using it as a void to fill the emptiness, to fill the fact that they haven't done anything. Um, and that they're lazy, or they don't have skill, or that they are on the bottom of the totem pole. And, because you can, you can play video games all the time and have success if you, if you, if you apply yourself. But this is, then again, only 1% of the community at most, you're seeing really apply yourself. Even among like the invite or whatever, there's always the the people who just have good DM because they have like 6k hours, um, but they're still screwing around and they'll never really win. They'll never pull it together. You know what I mean? Those people, they'll never pull it together.
because they're not really pushing themselves. It's a void. They use it to fill the hole in their life. Or they just are the hole in their life. I don't know. But the point is, I guess, is that this, uh, the, the, <laughs> The, the TF2 like competitive community loves to really hop on people who um, these streamers when they have a moment that they slip up or it doesn't it seems in any way you could criticize them um, because they're like you're giving a bad name for TF2 you're the best streamer okay look when people come on to the forums and if this is the first shit they see what they see is they see a bunch of people who for some reason, really have to bring someone down. Again, these are these are the people who are in community college, um, and they're 23, and they're living with their parents, and they're taking some time off of work. Um, they just need to sort things out. They've just been really stressed out, um, or maybe they they uh, they drop out of school for a semester because they just couldn't handle it. Because really, all they want to do is go home and play on their Steam and their video games. Um, and maybe they have some friends uh, in the real world, but it's all kind of still based around this stuff. Um, again, this isn't all these people, but this is a lot of these people who post and who who really eat this stuff up. So uh, <laughs> I don't I don't want to be such a downer, but um, you can be proud of things, um, and you're not a fucking egomaniac. Okay, this is the reason these people aren't successful is because they think, wow. What a narcissist. What a fucking... Oh, that guy's a douchebag. Oh, it's like a white knight, that guy. Because look at him, like, being confident and having pride in something he's done. What a fucking egomaniac dick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you guys are... Okay, look, so that was the, uh, the first take. Um, I just want to say something again. I don't want this video to be too long. Uh... Because I, I just didn't really mention everything in that first bit. I just wanted to get it out quick. Uh, when my thoughts were there. If I didn't explain anything fully, because there's a lot of things I did and I'm just trying to do this quick, please let me know in the comments. Um, another thing I want to say is I think the reason Banny affects these people so much, I think the reason people get so pissed off, um, is because everything he's saying is true. Because um, everyone else does have nothing to show for it, and he says that. Um, and they're, they're the everyone who's playing the game, um, and for the most part, it's been a waste of their life. It's like a negative effect on their social confidence. Um, and for most of them, it's kept them lazy, because they always have an addiction that is there for them that feels good without uh, much adversity. Again, there's exceptions. Like, I think uh, Kevin is Pwn comes to mind, because um, I think he's just like, he fucking, I don't know, where just started like doing so much shit administratively and like orchestrating these events. Um, and just being like a real playmaker, he's not the best like at the game, um, but again, he's like made his time more valuable than I think uh, everyone else seems to. It's probably not, probably wasn't a good investment. Um, and it's the same like fucking thing here with Ruin, because um, he called the chick fat, um, and I think in that case it was rude because he like showed his showed her picture and like there was no reason really to bring it up. But in both cases, it's like people get really messed up about it because um, these people are saying things that are mean, oh it's mean um, but it's, I think it hurts them so much because it's true um, that's one of those things like, is it mean if, if, if it's pointing out the reality that the 99% the of the TF2 community are wasting their time and um, are essentially really losers of, of the game, of the competitive um, scene, their chance to make their time um, worth it, get more value out of it, um, and not just be sinking it in like an addiction. Anyway, um, real quick, I also want to say that the reason, like, this shit fucked me up and annoyed me so bad is because it happens in, like, every aspect of life, like, real life specifically, not internet shit, but, like, with people. Um, I, I mean, I have trouble, like, finding in my mind really any single person I've really known IRL in the last few years um, that doesn't at some point like blame their problems on the exterior world um, and tear down others. I think it varies on the person but I think um, especially young people there's a lot of this um, or the, the failures the reason that they're not successful is always the fault um, of others 
um, and, they, and they don't realize that they're in control of their life um, and they're the one choosing to spend uh, their existence basically consuming fast food in every facet um, of their life. Also, please comment. Please leave me a comment. Let me know. Uh, no, really, let me know if these videos are, are, are good to like keep up because part of me only wants to keep them up for a few days um, just to spread the message because it's not really like a fully produced video like my actual videos on the rest of my channel. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Is this good or should I just take this down? I don't know. Um, yeah, please give me your feedback and advice.